What you see here is a WooCommerce orders page. And as you see, there is no shipping tracking information. Therefore, today I'm going to show you how to add tracking code to your orders in a way that it is shown on the orders page and in the single orders page. And also I'm going to show you how to add a tracking system which adds a tracking button here. That means if I click here, it will take me to the tracking provider with the correct tracking number. So if you're interested, then jump in. Now there are two solutions I'm going to provide you today. One is a plugin based solution and the other one is a code snippet based solution. If you need a shipment tracking system for WooCommerce which has more options, then go to plugins and search for advanced shipment tracking for WooCommerce, this one here. Install it and activate it. After activating, go to WooCommerce and shipment tracking. Here are lots of options for you, so let's take a closer look. First one, rename the completed order st status to shipped. So instead of sh showing the order st status as completed, if you want to show it as shipped, then activate this one here. If you want your order to be marked as shipped after you have added the tracking number, then activate this one here. Here you can select uh, what type of statuses has the tracking uh, info option. And if you want to add the add tracking icon to the order actions, then just uh, select the statuses. Currently the icon is shown for processing and completed orders. I'm going to activate also on hold. Now save changes. If you want to use custom order statuses, for example, delivered, partially shipped, updated tracking, then you can activate those here one by one. If you want the notification emails to be sent out, then activate these here. That means that if I mark the order as delivered, the email will be sent out. If I want to edit the email content, I will click on the edit email. Now let's launch the customizer. In here you can customize the emails which are sent out during the tracking adding process. General settings. Here you'll see the preview how does the email looks like. If you want to change the tracking display position then just switch to after order details now it's here. If you want to hide the tracking header choose this one here. Let's go back, table layout design, also tons of options here. Let's activate all of them and you'll see what's going on. As you see, USPS logo here, that one. If I want to hide the shipping date, then activate this one. I deactivated, now it's here. I want to use the tracking number as a link, that means that if someone clicks on it, it opens up the tracking providers page. If I want to hide the table headers, I can disable them here. Also, I can rename them. If you want, you can also change the colors for the text, for example. Font, tracking link color. This way you can customize basically every aspect of the shipping emails. If you go back, there are order status emails delivered. You can customize this one here and you can do it as I showed you before. There are also partially shipped and updated tracking status emails you can customize. Now I'm going to close it down and let's go to the shipping providers. Currently there are almost 400 providers. If you want to use all of them, just leave them activated. If there are something which is missing, for example, if you're looking for Itella, it's not there, then you can add it by yourself. Just click on custom, add custom provider, give it a title, Itella, shipping country, for example, Finland. If you want to upload the logo, you can do that. And here goes the tracking URL. 
Also, you can use the variables as shown here. Just take a look at the documentation here. I'm going to just add the random URL, for example, here. Submit, and it's here. Also, you can import the tracking info. If you want to do that, then click on CSV, import here, and upload your file. But I would suggest you to read the documentation of the plugin. Otherwise, you can end up with uh, broken orders. Last two op options are for add-ons and for premium services, so you can skip those. But the documentation link is here. Just cl click on it and you will get all your answers. Now let's modify some orders here. I have three orders. Let's open up the Jack Mac. Here is a tracking info. I'm going to add the tracking number ABC123. I'm going to select the provider, for example, DHL. I'm going to mark the order as shipped, but if I want, I can also change it to partially shipped. But I'm going to leave it to shipped, save tracking. Now what happened is if I refresh my page, here is a tracking button. If I click here, it opens up the DHL site with my tracking number already inserted. Also, if the user opens up the single order page, the tracking information is here. Here is the tracking number. One minus I have discovered is that the plugin does not have the tracking information or the tracking code on the orders table. It would be nice to have the tracking code also here. But otherwise, it's really effective plugin. If you want a great tracking system for your WooCommerce space shop, then probably this is a plugin you should use. Now, since we modified the status of this order, you see it's shipped now. Under the bulk actions, there is also delivered, updated tracking, partially shipped options. So let's choose this one here and change it to updated tracking. As you see, status is changed and the email is sent to the customer. Since we did not add any tracking information, it does not appear here. But you know that you can do that. Now, as you see, we opened up the orders page, but there are no action buttons here. Therefore, go to screen options and activate actions. And now you can add the tracking information from here. For example, there is a order 544. I'm going to just add tracking like this. Tracking number 123, ABC 123, shipping provider, date shipped. Maybe it was yesterday. Partially shipped, save tracking. Status has been changed. Tracking information is here. And if you open up the orders page, the status is here and tracking is here. As you see, works like a charm. Now, I have also a second solution for you. If you don't need this kind of system and you just need that uh, tracking code or some kind of information about uh, shipment, then you don't have to use this plugin. Let's deactivate it for a minute. Now I'm going to provide you a small code snippet. If you want to use that, I would suggest you to use the code snippets plugin. I have it already installed. If you don't have it, go to plugins, add new, search for code snippets, activate it. And after that, you will see the snippets menu on the left. Click on add new. Give your snippet a meaningful title, for example, shipment tracking code. And now paste this code I'm going to provide you here. You will find this code in the description of this video. Couple of things for you to point out. For example, this one here. Tracking code is the name of the column everywhere on this site. It appears here, 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 and here. Now I'm going to run the snippet everywhere. I'm going to change and activate it. If I open up the orders page, 
for example, this order here. Here is a tracking code info box. Probably after the installation or activating, it's going to be here, but you can drag and drop it here. Once again, I'm going to add the tracking code. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, eight. Update. Refresh the orders page. And this one here. It appears next to the view button. If I open up the single orders page, it is also here. Now how to resolve the question that you added the tracking number to the order, but your customer did not get the notification. Well, it's easy to fix. Just open up the order again and add a note to your customers here. For example, your tracking code is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And note to customers, just press on add. And if the customer opens up the orders page, order updates, your tracking code is. Also, there is an email sent out to the customers. There it is. Now, if you want to use both of these solution together, well, you can do that. Just activate the plugin, insert the code snippet up I provided you. And if you go to the account page, there you go. There is a tracking button here, tracking code or whatever information it is you want to add here. Maybe it's not a tracking code. Therefore, go to snippets, all snippets, open up the tracking code and just rename those here. For example, tracking provider or estimated delivery time or whatever it is you want to add here. Now, as you saw, it wasn't so difficult to accomplish. You have two options, whether to use a plugin or the snippet or the third option, you can use both of them. Now, if you find this video tutorial helpful, then press thumbs up, subscribe to this channel and you will be the first one to be notified about the new tutorials. Meanwhile, take care.